they died for us to have the right to vote. Our forefathers died for us to have the right to vote. What's going on, family? Welcome back to another Real Talk. I pray all this well to everybody as we give the Holy Spirit all the honor and the glory and all praise and worship. This here is a video response back to you, old man Reagan, old man. You know, my brother, when I do videos like this, when I talk about voting, segregation, civil rights, the so-called Black History Month, NAACP, anytime I address topics like this, a lot of my older people, they get mad at me. And that's fine. Still love them. Because what we see in a new generation versus a lot of them that died back then, we see something totally different. Um, and I mean this with no disrespect. Yes, they died. A lot of them killed, tortured, murdered, hung, I mean, you name it. Water hose down with the water hose. They sick the dogs on us. And that's the old saying. And I heard Martin Luther King say this too. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. But see, the, the question is, what are we standing for? Here we go with this equal rights. Two guys was at the gas station just earlier arguing over voting because one vote, one don't vote. And he said to the other guy, man, if our forefathers knew what they was really doing or who they was doing it for, they probably would have had a different way of doing it. And I thought that was very deep because it always boiled down back then to equal rights. Even to this day, we still talking about equal rights. But see, what the other guy didn't understand it is, is that that brother was coming from a spiritual standpoint. See, when our old folks that's still alive now, I ain't going to say all of them because some of them don't care nothing about voting, but a lot of them that died and that's alive now will tell you, boy, your forefathers fought. They died for you to have the right to vote. How dare you? <laughs> Don't vote. And then when you look at what always went on with voting or why it was the reason they never wanted us to read and how to this day you still are not equal. You may think you are, but I've been saying this for years. How can you get equal with a satanic system that was designed for you not to really be a part of? See, this is why it's so mm, very important to understand biblical history versus this American history. Most of them that died, they was, I mean, history that, that, that they told us, taught us, that ain't us. If you're going to truly understand who you are and what you are, you better go through that word. And I know a lot of like a lot of people don't like when I say that. Yeah, it's sad what happened. But we still marching. What is it, over 300 years? Still marching. Still protesting. But if you notice, it's always an ag agenda. Some kind of agenda. They wanted everybody to fall in with Black Lives Matter. What is that? Wasn't finna give me a part of that either. See, when I was coming up, I would really dig deeper to civil rights, segregation. This history they taught us. You can't just tell me no anything and want me to accept it. And I'm not telling people to do what I do. You're going to do what you're going to do anyway. But how many times have they showed you it don't matter who's in office? 
And I'm so sick of people telling me, man, see, it's niggas like you. That's why the world ain't going to get no better because you won't even vote. Really? And how many years you been voting? How better has it gotten? See, I'm not trying to change the world. Oh. This message ain't going to sit well with my older generation. You can't change this world. See, some, some of y'all going to think I'm talking stupid, but I'm coming from a spiritual standpoint. You show me in the Bible where the Holy Spirit told you to change this world. He told you to change yourself. Work out your own salvation with Fred Trevor. Because people say America ain't in the Bible. Boy, you better look at America real close. And look at the judgment on America. Miss me with this Chris, Christopher Columbus and all this stuff that they taught us. When they won't tell you the truth on Thanksgiving. Lies. This country was built off of lies and murder. Now you want me to vote for what? A satanic system? See, we'll stand for this system, but we won't stand for the Holy Spirit system. I'm not talking about everybody. Because we've been brainwashed so long. And when you read the Bible and get a clear understanding, what do the Bible tell you? You obey the laws of this land until... It goes against his word. You want me to vote for a president who was all for the LGBT community? If I do that, I'm going against my Heavenly Father. You want me to vote and play a part of same-sex marriage and lies and et cetera, et cetera. If I do that, I'm going against my Heavenly Father. So I'd rather get cussed out and be called a bad man for doing what's right. I'm not going to ever vote for this satanic system. And you look at what this system, what this world system do to you. And you want me to okay it? Yeah, I'm sorry that they died back then. I'm not. I'm not gonna be that cold blooded to say, "I, I, I, hey man, they got what they deserve." No, they, they, they did what they saw. Now, if you look at it, mm, this boy is gonna cut you long, deep, and wide. The Holy Spirit showed us to always be distant, separated, set apart, holiness. You want us to vote and play a part. Because we keep crying for a new leader. See, most people, when they talk, they're going to come from a, a, a worldly standpoint on a video like this. No, I'm talking about what's spiritual. You vote for a system that's already doomed. You just don't know it. You keep talking about equal rights. Man, Black Lives Matter got a whole different agenda with them lesbians. I just pray they repent. This ain't a hate message. Everybody, oh, President Obama. When Obama, I, I warned people back then. Man, anybody that's going to go against the Bible and stand for these gay rights because you need their votes and all this stuff, I wasn't going to, even if I was voting, I wasn't going to vote for you. Now to go to big talk about Trump again. And I'm going to say this in the video once again. It don't matter. It don't matter how you vote. The Holy Spirit is the one that showed you in the word a long time ago. He sets kings and rulers and people in position. That go to show you right there. Your vote don't matter. Because whoever get in the office is allowed by the Holy Spirit. That's scripture. You may not want to agree with it, but it's scripture. So you can cry out all you want about, oh, I hope Donald Trump don't get in there. The Holy Spirit used Donald Trump. He used Obama. He used every president that came in there because it's still a part of his plan. That's another reason why your vote don't matter. And then they always tell my own man, the votes didn't get counted right. The vote, the more you vote, the worse it get. 
it, it just amazed me how many black people was 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 all for Obama and oh we got a black president because you stuck on the word black and leader. And then when he when he got in there and then did what you did, he didn't do what you wanted him to do. You y'all oh, man he did see the man you cussed him out. My people is something else. Man, I ain't voting no more after this. Some of y'all, well, that was y'all first time voting in y'all life. Because all we got a black president and do the history. Was he really black? Where he really come from? Who was he really a part of? And I'm going to say this again. Presidents are not elected. They are selected. Franklin D. Roosevelt, was the Ro yeah, Roosevelt the one that said that, even in our older generation, Roosevelt let you know your vote don't matter. And you still sit up and talk about voting and encouraging everybody else to vote for a satanic system. And that's why I say that. I'm just talking about me. You wonder why I don't vote. That is it right there. From a spiritual standpoint, your vote ain't never mattered. <laughs> Racism ain't never stopped. Stereo system, stereotype, excuse me, ain't never stopped. Now let that sink in. Love y'all. Have a blessed day.